I have a confession. I love automations. I love when I can set something up to roll on autopilot that would have normally required time out of my day or for me to pay my team to do it. So anytime I can find like workarounds that saves my time or their time so we can be focusing on things that matter more or are in our zone of genius, I just go crazy for. So today, I want to tell you how I automate my business with a system called Zapier and how you can do. Hey, hey, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Stansberry and I am a video marketing strategist helping you put video in your business so your business gets better. Welcome back. You may have heard about Zapier before or a system called IFTTT. Both of them are super amazing systems to make things work on autopilot or together that weren't really designed to work together. So connecting your email system with your selling software, if they don't integrate, you can go through Zapier. Or creating a new Trello card every time someone books an appointment with you through Calendly. Things that weren't built to work together and don't natively integrate can go through Zapier and make amazing, amazing things happen. So first and foremost, what is Zapier and how does it work? Zapier is a system designed to hook programs together. So if you think about it in a way of when one thing happens, make this other thing happen, that's how Zapier works. It is free up to so many zaps, but you can pay for it and get more zaps and make everything run so much better. Now to sign up for Zapier, you can click the link below or just go to zapier.com. It is a awesome system that you will love playing with, I promise. So to just give you a quick run through of how it works, you will go in and you will say that you want to make a zap and then as you make a zap, it will ask you what program you want as the lead step. So this is the program where when something happens in this program, make something happen in another program. So for instance, when someone fills out a type form, all I have to do is hook it to my type form account, tell it which form I want it to hook to, and then go to the next step. Then you say, okay, what do I want to happen when someone fills out a type form? I want a Trello card to be created in my tr a specific Trello board in a specific list and I want a specific person assigned to it. So I will go through the Trello settings and tell it that exact same thing that I want a card to be created, I want my assistant to be assigned to it, and I want it to go on a certain list on a certain board. Now, where this specific zap comes in handy is if you're running an event and everybody fills out a type form with their headshot and their information, their URLs, their handles, etc., and your team, when someone fills it out, needs to create a name tag and needs to put them in a system or whatever, it'll dump it into Trello so they can take them straight from Trello and do whatever they want to. You could also just let there be a Trello board for all of your event attendees to see so whatever they put in type form gets put in Trello and it all happens on automation. My friend Dana Malstaff actually does this for the Boss Mom Retreat. So I've seen it in firsthand workings and it works amazingly well. Another way I've used this specific zap before is I request testimonials from anyone I get on a one-on-one -on -one call with. But it's again, it happens on automation. If I have to remember to ask for a testimonial, it won't happen. So I will, I have created a zap that says when someone on my calendar with this specific keywords, so whether it's like one-on-one -on -one call or 30 minute call, one hour call or whatever, these specific keywords, whenever someone with those keywords, when their event ends, I send a notification to my team on Slack and on Trello to add them to a sequence in Active Campaign. That sequence then sends them an email that says, hey, I love talking to you today and I would love for you to write a testimonial if you have a few minutes. 
When they submit the form for the testimonial, it creates a card inside of Trello for my team to see, and we can use that on sales pages or an email copy or whatever we need to do. And it all happened on automation after the call was over because of Zapier. Yeah, it's really awesome basically. Some of my other favorite ways to use it is to send media files from a form to straight to WordPress. As you know, I co-host the All Up In Your Lady Business podcast. And with this podcast, we have guests. So our guests fill out a form with their bio and their headshots and all of this stuff. That form is actually hosted in Acuity because that's where we book our appointments. But our assistant and me at the beginning was having to go in and download the headshot from Acuity, save it to our computer, and re-upload into WordPress to create the blog post that goes along with each podcast episode. And it just felt very cumbersome and it felt like something we could eliminate. Again, remember, I like to eliminate tasks where I can. So through Zapier, we set up a zap that every single time someone fills out that specific form, and uploads a headshot, it automatically uploads their headshot into the WordPress media library in our website. So when our assistant is creating the show notes or creating the blog post, all she has to do is drop it in. There was no extra step involved. I use some Trello apps a lot. So whether it's a type form or whether it's emails or calendar bookings or whatever, there are a lot of times I use zaps that link to Trello to do other things. For instance, if I have someone come through Dubsado to book with me, I have Zapier automatically create a Trello board for that person. So that's one less step we had to do. And now I have a Trello board set up and I'm ready to get started on their strategy or whatever we're doing together as a client and strategist relationship. Now, one of the other things I love about Zapier is that you can make things really fun with it. So one of my favorite zaps ever is the fact that my phone cha-chings every single time someone buys something from me. So multiple times a day, I will hear my phone cha-ching and that means somebody gave me money and that means, you know, Somebody supported my family and all of these things and it just makes me happy. It really serves no other purpose than to make me happy. And what I did is I went through Zapier to set that up so that every time someone purchases, I get that cha-ching. Now, I actually did a full-on tutorial of how to do this, whether you sell physical products or digital products on Etsy, on PayPal, whatever, you can do this. And I will link that above. It was actually a guest post on the Think Creative Collective website and YouTube channel. So if you wanna know how to create that cha-ching zap, definitely head over there. All right, so I hope this helped you figure out how Zapier can help automate your business more. To quote Katie in Mean Girls, the limit does not exist. Basically, anything you wanna do with Zapier, you can do. So go check it out and have fun. And if you have some favorite zaps that you wanna share with me, I'd love for you to share them in the comments because I'm always looking for another good zap to add to my arsenal. And until next time, hit subscribe so you don't miss any other really cool tips like this one. Bye y'all.